a surprise decision by head coach Brian Flores to name Tua the starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. It's a surprise because Ryan Fitzpatrick has been playing lights out. If you want to talk about fantasy football perspective, I believe it was four or five straight games where he's had over 20 fantasy points in those games. Ten touchdowns, seven interceptions, which is kind of, you know, that's turnovers need to be worked on. But that didn't even matter because he's been playing lights out as far as the passing game goes and the running game, having two rushing touchdowns on the ground as well. He's been playing as if his career didn't matter at that point. He has nothing left to lose. He's at the tail end of his career. This may be his last season in the NFL. So he just decided to all of a sudden bomb the ball down the field and just show up and show out. So Ryan Fitzpatrick is benched in the process, and that was a surprise. We're going to unpack the, the the quotes and what head coach Brian Flores said uh, with the decision of benching Fitzpatrick for Tugavailoa. And this is what he said. We feel like that this is the best team or best thing for the team. We feel like through practice and meetings and walkthroughs that he's ready. And that's how we're going to move forward. And then he was asked about Fitzpatrick. Fitz has done a great job. He's been productive. His leadership's been great. It's not an easy decision for me or us as an organization. But we felt like for the team now in moving forward, this is the move we need to make. And I don't know if you saw the reaction by Ryan Fitzpatrick and the comments that he made, but it kind of <laughs> it pulled the heartstrings for a lot of NFL fans because Fitzpatrick is a guy that you want to root for. And it, it, it was kind of sad because what he said is it, it broke his heart and it, he was hurt the whole day by being benched. And... He felt like that this was his team and it caught him off guard and it was a surprise. It was a shocker. So in that sentiment, we feel for Fitzpatrick. This sucks and gosh, I, I can't. It's sad. It really is sad because I, I I was rooting for the guy. He looked amazing. But nonetheless, the, the business decision is to move on with Tua as a starting quarterback. So what does this mean for the Dolphins? Are they going to be as good with Fitzpatrick out of there and two are replacing him that they were with Fitzpatrick as a starting quarterback. I don't know personally, and we haven't seen enough of Tua, especially with the lack of preseason. So we don't know just yet. We just saw that one drive that he came in and threw a couple of passes. But if I had to make an educated guess on this, I think that the Dolphins will be fine with Tua moving forward. You think about it, with Flores making this decision with the way that Fitzpatrick has been playing the level that he's been playing at the decision to take him out and put in Tua saying that he's ready moving forward you've got to have a lot of balls and a lot of faith in Tua to to make a decision like that you must really believe that he's ready to make a significant impact in the NFL if you're ready to get rid of one of the dare I even say as as far as QBR goes by ESPN a top 10 quarterback this season and Ryan Fitzpatrick to take him out as far as quarterback rating goes and put in Tua Tugavailoa. You must have a lot of confidence in him. So with all that said, Tua in that instance could be the next Lamar Jackson, could be the next Kyler Murray, could be the next Patrick Mahomes. I don't know. It might happen. But I think that Flores is on that track and on that road and believes that that could happen for the Dolphins. Because listen, this decision probably would have made a lot more sense if the Dolphins were 1-5 and five or 0-6. Oh You've got nothing to lose. Why not just put in Tua? Give him some experience so that by year two, he could just take off. But the fact that you're 3-3, three and three, and I believe a half game behind in the AFC East for the lead behind the Buffalo Bills, you're in the thick of the, the playoff race and you make that decision to change your starting quarterback who wasn't that bad at all. You must really have a lot of faith in Tua Tugavailoa. So guys, comment down below. Like, Do you believe that Tua is going to be this, uh, this amazing next big thing in the NFL at quarterback? Or is he just going to falter out and this decision was made by Brian Flores just to give him some, some playing time? Because... Three and three, I believe that the Miami Dolphins organization and this team 
can make the NFL playoffs. They're in contention to make that seventh, that new, brand new seventh wild card seed that was introduced this season in 2020. So, Tua, we're going to have to see. Very talented quarterback. Heart hurts for, for Fitzpatrick, but Flores loves the decision and has a lot of faith in Tua.